I will tell you to it. If you like, don't believe in me. That is you. For the first time, I drove to the airport. You know what? As in case they refuse me, I will just enter my car and drive back. As if it is not there. My wife said, the outstretched hand of God will go with you. That was what she said. I said, I mean, I believe you. But this matter is serious. I showed forth. Fact my car. I was the first person, first three persons to be attended to. They got to my tongue. The lady looked at my passport. I gave him my British passport. He requested the manager. He said, You are going to Dubai, but your destination is Nigeria. Where is your Nigerian passport? Uh -huh. I said, God, you don't have He said, Bring me. I said, you, you, you need it. I said, I'm going to Dubai. He said, Your destination is Nigeria. Bring it. I said, Don't let go. I brought it. She looked at it. It has expired four months ago. I said, Yes, I know. <laughs> Our manager was sitting, standing by her. She looked at the man, young man. The young man gave her an order, allowed him to go. We go to 
by, about to shed in, the lady shed. He said, your passport has expired. I said, I told them in UK, I know. If I didn't know, I would have, I know. Our boss was standing by her. And, she, and he told her, allow him to go. You think it's, you think it's normal? It's a grace, oh. How many of you want that grace? How many of you? That won't stop others will not stop him. You want that grace in your city that? That won't repeat others will not repeat you. You want that grace and you are sitting on your seat.
जो काफी दिन से गुजर चुके हैं तो शो अप्रिसिएशन गॉड एक्सपेक्ट्स एंड डिजायर ऑफ टू बी ग्रेटफुल आई गिव ए ए पास्टर इन नाइजीरिया आई मीन टू बी वी हैव नाउ इट नो मिनिस्ट्रीज टू आर स्ट्रगलिंग This man of God has been ministering for almost forty years. Poverty held him hostage. Highly anointed, he preached more than you, but he's a prisoner of poverty. I'll tell you why. And you can be anointed and still suffer. Poverty is bondage. I gave him. Fifty thousand. You know I told you, sir. He said, "Man of God, I'm going to find ATM. When I see ATM, I will draw the money. I will call you to thank you." I told my wife, "Are you here?" He said, "Yes." I said, "Okay, sir." It's almost five months now. He's still looking for ATM. Boy, I see this the money. Now, do you think that even if the Holy Ghost is ministering to me, I will not convince the Holy Ghost why I can no longer bless my pastor? Even if they say in Jamaica and Cape that this case is in the past, speak to that my son.
you have good health, you can't be grateful to God. Let's dash. If the choir does not sing and pray their ways, you will not dance. Your waist is as strong as zero to three.
It was in military when military was military. It was born in military. They were sending them to different nations to study, to gather intelligence on behalf of Nigeria. With all his education, the foundation in the family had them. When he had the opportunity to settle in the United Kingdom, foundation brought him back. So how do you think? No relation abroad. How do you think I got abroad? I was in Turkey, sir. We were checking in. I, I hid my Nigerian passport because I know the embarrassment that passport has brought. I hid the passport. A doctor in my back he said, are you a British? I said, yes, sir. Sir, not have you been in the UK? Ah, uh, I said, uh, f roughly five years. Ah, uh, he said, impossible. How can you say you are in the UK? Within five years, I show you a British citizen. I say yes, sir. Uh, you got it through your children. I said no, sir. My children got it through me. The guy said no. I have been in this country for sixteen years. They only give me visa when they expire. I want to leave. I said, sir, I just I'll be here for five years. All of us are British. And that is travel, travel to act. It is impossible for you to have a British citizen in less than five years. We are talking about painful sacrifice. Nobody rise by mistake. Honestly, what I'm telling you, there are things that I did that my colleagues could not do. They were pursuing on the railway from city to city in this country. They told me that I would suffer because my mindset was different from theirs. Why they were focused on the rail, focused on money, I was focused on Jesus. I saw her poverty really go my mother. And I said, you know, God, I don't want to remain poor. And God said, the only way is painful sacrifice. So I started it. Prayers? Oh, I prayed to an extent in this country in a prayer meeting. They threw me outside. They said, I pray too much. <coughs> they didn't know where I was coming from. I, I have seen so far. I did interview for prayer meeting. Not prayer practice, for prayer meeting. They threw me outside. Those who threw me outside now. Uh, <laughs> oh, giddy. <laughs> Sacrifice, Rakito. It's not only paper, you serve God with your life. Yes. That is all it is. I'm not, I'm not saying, some of you that your mind is so, is so messed up that you have, you see that they won't race in the game. Ask the story guy. I don't have grace to race in the world. Just remove, remove your mind. I'm a messenger of Jesus. I will tell you how God picked me up. If you like, you do it. If you don't like, you do it. My flight ticket is paid for. I can't. How can you break the limitation in your family? Show up possession. Two. Give it, not stop tight and nothing, which is very good. We believe in it. Sacrifice. I fasted to an extent where people, I was vomiting. They say you fast too much. Sacrifice. I was in every department in my church, except women department. But they used to invite me to preach. Why? Sacrifice. Eh? Usher, I did. 
I travel the world, but I'm an usher in my local church. Our ministry is a non-denominational ministry. I'm a proud usher. Proud usher. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you put the take picture with me. This is it way you dress. A proud usher. If they come to God, sacrifice. Which department are you? Eh? Sacrifice. You want God to change your level? Change the level of your service. You are blessed now. You have a church that has AC. In my day, my church had AC. Even far we not get. Yet I was sleeping in the church all night every day. You have, if I'm here, you have me that daddy. Just leave me in this church. Let me pray my way out of poverty. Let me serve God out of poverty. If I'm here, ah, they will die. I don't show the author of that time. <laughs> we die here. The same God. You have a father who God has blessed. Ah. <laughs> there is something that may drive. You know you can draw from that grace to sacrifice. Yeah. Eh? Yes. When did you go for evangelism? That is sacrifice, isn't it? Yes, sir. Change your level of commitment. Pastors, don't join those who are pushing honorarium. I saw those who were pushing 20 years ago. They are still suffering. Though. There is nothing honorarium. It does not matter how much. Your future honorarium can give you. There are people who come to serve because of what they want to get. It will not take you far. Hear it from me. I, have, I ask after those who were pursued the 20 years ago. They see they suffer. As I ran up here, why not decide yourself? No more church as usual. We know this church of this is short on the usual, yes, not as usual. Look for it. No man, look for a department. Sad God. Sad Jesus. I reward you. Let God reward you. God asked him. He said, What do you want, sir? You want me to reward you for man? I said, God, I think I'll prefer your own room. That was 15 years ago. Hello? Uh, Mothers in the house, you can serve God with your life. God can, because of your service, prosper your children. You can live your life on this altar, and your children will benefit it. Sacrifice. Let me share this last testimony that will put in mind. The Lord came to me. In one of my encounters, he says, "Son, do for me what will cost you. What is sacrifice? Sacrifice is something that you will do for God, and you will feel it. It's not, it's not offering. It's not offering. You will feel it. Yeah? You will feel it. And I say, God, this what I'm doing is costing me." Only go say, no, there is something you will do that will move them. So I began to think. I said, the only thing I know how to do is ministry. So I set up an outreach, a program, three weeks in Delta State. Invited top guest speaker. I sponsored the program. Hotel, when we organized the program, the way I was raised, I prepared the radio before the program. Because I don't like pastors who come and come and crash people <coughs> from the heart and mind. Who want to give let them give? If they don't give up, they will enjoy poverty. The only way out of poverty is sacrifice. 
So I'll pay the gold. Three weeks! Guess the cast came. The third week, one of the guest speakers, Benjamin Mike Adogami, called me. He said, boy, how do you do this program? Three weeks. Uh, I told him, see me, you know I said, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm not normal. Mm. Let me share my testimony. We started the program. There was no money. I emptied my account then. I traveled a lot when I was in Nigeria. I emptied my account. It was not enough. So I went to court. I said, hey, you see, I have to do what will cost me. The account is finished. It's empty. Ah. He goes out the wealth. He has a sense of humor. He asked me a question. He said, don't people borrow money to do business? Thank you. Ah. My greatest weakness is to borrow. I don't borrow. That was the first thing. I said, yes. Uh, he said, borrow money to preach my word. I began to look for loan. I borrowed money, sponsored the program. One of the guest speakers, I didn't tell him. God has told me he's taking me abroad. Listen, some of you who are here, there are prophecies hanging over your head. Men of God are tired with all those prophecies. Nothing is happening. I'm tired of carrying prophecy. I want to see fulfillment. Yes. Little did I know that by obeying God, a prophecy of 27 years will be fulfilled. He left the congregation and turned to me on the altar. He said, Talk to the Lord. I have opened the gates of nation before you. I didn't even tell that to what I did. I smiled. I said, I know, because God has told me. An old woman told me 27 years before that day that God is taking me to abroad, specifically to the United Kingdom. But until I obey God to do something that will cost me, that prophecy was there. How many of you they told you things and it's just there? You are waiting. He said the man of God is not powerful. That is said uh, door this year, uh, this uh, month, something will happen. Uh, uh, you, there is something that you will do. I did mine. I did mine. To cut long story, we finished the program. Less than six months that 20th of 2011. I find myself in the United Kingdom. I think you will clap for Jesus. The summary, painful sacrifice. That prophecy they've told you, there is something God wants you to do. Painful sacrifice. Yes. And here I am today because I obeyed Jesus. I will be here yeah, we will be tomorrow if I continue to obey Jesus. Stand up, everybody. Not everybody, some of you. How many of you are among us? Some of you. Eh? As we hear the word of God, God will change and you will obey. You will obey. Your testimony will be heavier than my own. Are you hearing me? If God can do it in my life, your own is too small. Amen. God will do it for you. Amen. God will do it for you. Amen. After today, Thanksgiving, go and meet senior pastor. Sir, what's your name, sir? Say, Daddy, I want to change my service. If you are not in any department, maybe you are a visitor. This is the right place. When you have a father who God has helped, except the foundation worrying you, <laughs> there are people that will see help. They will run. Have you, have, you, have you seen those people? Yes. I called the pastor. I said, foundation is worrying you. The poverty your family don't want to let you go. You know why that is. Each time I want to help that church, that pastor will be running. I will go and look for people to hold him down. A blessing. It's 
If you want to from village, may God deliver you. Because God don't deliver that. Eh? Serve Jesus with all your heart. Are you hearing me? Young man, serve Jesus. I was 18 when I came to serve Jesus. If you do it now that you are young, uh, you see what Jesus will do. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Close your eyes. Let me pray. If I did not serve Jesus, if I was not serious, they call me all kind of name. I don't know what's up. I don't go to party. I don't go to bed. Only prayer, prayer, prayer. In fact, some pastors told me now everything I pray uh, today now. Are they able to tell me the same thing? I guess. And you want what Jesus did in my life. I he beat me from a poor state. No accommodation. I remember I got married. Where I was living was a red town. Red town. That was how poverty dealt with me. No silly no. You visit me, you put on singlet, you will regret. Why well, serve Jesus? And I'm still serving Jesus. Close your eyes, not with me. You want? You say, man of God, poverty is strong in my family. But if Jesus can do it in your life, uh, I guess I, I'm certain he can do it in my life. And you want to surrender your life to Jesus. You want to say, Jesus from today, be my Lord and my Savior. Two set of people. If you are among that set of person, please meet me here. I want to lay hands on you. You want to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, meet me here. Number two, if you are coming, come fast to. I don't want to pass you my time. Now, out of respect, that will be here. You will not carry me go outside. You want Jesus to be in your life. God sent me because of you. You know that Jesus is not in your life. Two of you open your eyes. So you read Luke chapter 1 before you came. Close your eyes. Meet me there. Let me lay hands on you. Number two set of people. You are a child of God. But you want to say, man of God, I want to change my commitment. I want to pray with that ever before. I want to be engaged in evangelism that ever before. I want to be engaged in the service of this commission. So that what God did for you, He can do it for me. You want to tap in that grace. Meet me here, meet me here. Don't just come because you want that grace. So remember, that grace can only be tapped if you change your commitment to who? To Jesus. Meet me here. Even if you're a pastor, you can meet me here too. If you are coming, be fast. Don't talk to that. Those who really want to dedicate themselves to Jesus, so that department, you want to show dedication more than ever before. That ministry, you want to say, Jesus, they drink the water. I die with you. I will no longer look for man for reward. Reward me, reward me. I shall serve you. What you did for this old servant, do it for me. Now open your mouth, pray, pray now, pray now. Pray. If you are not born again, say Jesus, come into my life. If Jesus don't take your life, open your mouth, say Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord, be my Savior. Close your eyes, repeat that for me. 
Say Jesus. Jesus. From today. From today. I dedicate my life to you. I dedicate my life to you. I dedicate my spirit to you. I dedicate my spirit to you. Be my Lord. Be my Lord. And be my Savior. Jesus. Jesus. From today. I receive the spirit of sacrifice. I receive the spirit of sacrifice. As I sacrifice my life. As I sacrifice my life. As I sacrifice my resources. As I sacrifice my resources. Break the limitation in my life. Break the limitation in my life. Do for me what you did for your servant. Do for me what you did for your servant. Let me pray for you now, Father. I am. Uh, for the past one hour plus, I have been sharing of your faithfulness in my life. I have told your people of where, of how and where you picked me from. And I have told them that the way out of where they are is unrestricted, unlimited service to Jesus. Therefore, I speak as your messenger, appointed by divinity, sent to humanity. Everyone who is here, Jesus, encounter their life. Amen. Let the spirit of sacrifice, the spirit of commitment come upon them. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. as they serve you in this ministry, as they join hands with your servant, to do the work of this ministry. Father, expand their lives. Amen. Expand their family. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, listen. Don't just go after we cruise. Eh? I want to be praying for you. Eh? So, don't know about eh? what is it all about. Eh? Your needs. That is just let me bring the Bible, right? Just your name. You write it in a piece of paper. You give it to Pastor Obina. As you continue to serve God, eh? when we meet in Germany, <laughs> you will share your testimony. Amen. You didn't believe you will go to Germany. Why not? <laughs> oh, is it Japan you want to go to? <laughs> or US? Freedom! Okay, okay, okay. When we meet in the United States of America, you will share your testimony. The God who has me. God! God bless you. Give Jesus a cup of it. Watch one another 
And I can tell you that you may be seated, please. I can tell you that God is taking us higher. In the name of Jesus. Before I drop this phone, I want to make one appeal. We have some few more days before the year 2020 ends. Let me make one appeal. And that appeal is, if you have not decided to be part of what God is going to do in this place next year, hallelujah, Amen. don't worry, look for another place to worship God. Are you understanding me? Yes, sir. I do not mind, even if in January I come here and I see 15 people. But I want to see 15 people that are members of our distribution church. And with that 15, I want to tell you, come back after three months. I say come back after three months. And then see in God's business, in God's business, people are not forced to force you to watch it here. But if the Spirit of God tells you be part of a movie day, this place is a movie day. Why? The high Lord is God himself. He told me this is only Ghost church. I don't see myself as the owner of this church. I don't have capacity to own a church. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes, but we have somebody who, in possibility, is not in this picture. Hallelujah. Amen. And I tell you, if you know what you are saying, you love it. The Spirit confirms it. Don't mind how small. Are you understanding? Yes, sir. The dedication and all that from the heart man of God said, this place. The building must also be dedicated next year. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Yes, sir. Are you happy? Yes, sir. We are breaking through this. The Bible says, without faith, without faith, it is impossible. Look at the geographical position of Israel. Look at the, posi I mean, the population of Israel. But it is still one nation every world. Every country in the world there. Yeah. So it is not a question of numbers. We don't need numbers, but we need performance. Those that when they pass by you, you know that something has happened to you. We are not praying for blessing. We are praying to become what? We are praying to become what? Yes. Tell yourself, I am the blessed. Yes. To believe that so shall it be. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you all in Jesus. Jesus Christ. Father, receive our offering this morning. I'm ready to let you pray.